get uh, the new races from a short. These are a wish list find for me. You get three racers. There's four blades, um, silky skin, gentle smoothness. I always buy a short racers. I prefer the men's six blade. I do not like, um, they have the women's six blades ones. I don't know. I really don't know. Everything has lubricated strips. I know they had a women's five blade that I really didn't care for. Um, I'm going to give these a try. And they also have plenty of different selections of shave, shaving cream. They have pure silk and the coconut and the raspberry. Also, this dupe for the EOS shave cream is nice. I'm currently using this one. Um, what is it? It's pomegranate and raspberry, and the other one's a lavender. I also have tried this shave gel, and I like it as well. I have the bamboo kitchen utensils. I've seen a spoon here or there, but I've never seen like the full set. Dollar Tree always has these small containers of laundry detergent. Um, they have the Gain, they have Tide, they have Downy, the small bottles. But this is a new um, scent. It's Blissful Breeze. It has um, an aroma boost. Um, yeah, this is new. This coffee is so good and it's not cheap. It's not cheap if you bought it somewhere else. Um, so smooth, not bitter. I have this one. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm speaking on my brew that I normally like, the Donut Cafe. It is really, really good. I'm in East Metal, and they also have the Christmas LED projectors. I have to say, this is my favorite. This one is just okay. I don't know the scene. I don't know. This, to me, is just so cute. This is just very plain, and um, the details are not as um, as good as this one. But I did do a review on my last Dollar Tree haul. I'm buying these again because these are so cute. You can change her hair, her clothing. Um, I think this is really, really cute. And these are, in my opinion, very, very cute, the Big Eye Dolls. So cute. They look like a dupe for another doll. I don't know the name of it. I don't have little girls, but um, they remind me of another, another doll. I don't know, is it the LOL Dolls that I'm thinking of? But these are really, really cute. This is a different Dollar Tree LED projector light. It looks like um, an aquarium scene. Really, really cute. I really am. I'm excited about um, the Christmas ones. Forget uh, getting it for my grandson. It's for me. But this is really, really cute. And the further that the projector is away from the wall, the bigger the image. But keep in mind, y you'll see less details. Okay, they have this thing of dinosaurs, really, really cute. Um, you get eight dinosaurs in a pack. They also have this bag. Okay, I'm still working on chunks uh, Christmas Dollar Tree gift bag. Um, they also have some Hot Wheels. I like that they have limited edition cars too. Really, really cute. A lot to choose from. They brought these back. Um, if you have a little girl and you want to buy her a play kitchen or if she already has a play kitchen, this is just great. And I love how um, it, just the detail for a dollar tree. For Dollar Tree, you get a cutting board, you get the knife, you get the fake fruit that she can pretend to cut in half. Um, really, really, really cute. Um, there's a piece of Velcro that holds it together and then she can cut it in half. They also have uh, the bag of fake food. And you know, if you spend a, a nice amount on a play kitchen and then you get the accessories from Dollar Tree, I don't see them here, but
Sometimes they have the fake stainless steel um, cookware set. So you can get her the pots, you can get her um, the chef hat and the apron. You can get those items from Dollar Tree and save money. I love when Dollar Tree comes out with their dupes for um, board games. This is a part of the classic games, Don't Let the Marbles Fall. Then they also have this one, Don't Let Them Pop. And who remembers Trouble? This is like a mini travel version of the game Trouble, which is one of my favorite games. Just love it. You could put together a family gift basket with nothing but games and puzzles and stuff like that and give one gift for the entire family if, you know, funds are tight. So it'll be interesting to see if they come out with more. I had to get me one of these retro things. How many of you have had these as a, a kid? This is the aquarium scene. They also have different ones. That's another aquarium scene. But this is like a space scene. So fun. More fam family game night ideas. Okay, these are the official um, games. Name brand, Jeopardy card game and Wheels of Fortune. These battery operated um, home accessories are just too freaking cute. Vacuum cleaner. It shuts off on its own. And then they have this iron. The steam iron. Really, really cute. They come with the batteries. Really cute. This is a wish list find. I was hoping to find these for my Chunk of Monks uh, Dollar Tree Christmas uh, grab bag, as you can call it. So these are like, have different heads and they're little cars. So you have that one. It's like different dinosaur heads. Really cool. Are there? I guess there's only three different ones. Yeah, only three different ones. These little horses are new. They have them with purple wings. We have yellow wings and blue wings. And each of them are different. It's not the same one. And the yellow, I'm sorry, it's just a plain unicorn, no wings. Never seen the uh, official Fig Newtons in Dollar Tree. I just this is new to me. Now this is not a full size pack. This is a package. I don't want to waste your time, but does it say how many it comes with? I'm not sure, but it's not a full pack. But it's still good to see something else. I can't believe, and this is my favorite Chips Ahoy, the peanut butter. Never seen a full pack of Chips Ahoy cookies. I have seen other people haul them online, but I've never seen them in Dollar Tree. Nice to see the LED vault of candles in ivory instead of white. I like that. I prefer the ivory more uh, than the white, but you don't always see them, so keep that in mind. They have these new shadow boxes. This one says you're out of this world. This one says love is a four-legged word. This is for teachers, AKA a lot of parents these days. Teach, love, inspire. This is really, really nice. Perfect for little boy. This says chomp, raw, crunch. Really, really cute. And this one says thankful and blessed. And what's cool about these is they have the hardware so you can hang it on the wall. A lot of times these shadow boxes don't have any hardware and you either have to buy command strips or um, just put them on a shelf. They have these bags from Crafter Square in red. They have like a teal. They have this bright green. These would have been perfect for my craft and sip last year. You get two for a dollar. Um, I made craft bags for the ladies to take to the tables to gather their craft supplies. These would have been perfect. 
Hi guys, I bought this cart off of Facebook Marketplace. I need some food storage in the Love Den. Hey guys, it's another rainy day. I'm telling you, sweater, sweater weather is here. It is chilly and I just ran out of the house today. It wasn't raining earlier, it was just cloudy, but it started to rain. So as you can see, I bought that um, wire storage cart off of Facebook Marketplace for $10. It actually was going to come with the shoe rack, but I told her, you know, you can keep the shoe rack, do what you want with it. Um, the cart's well worth $10. It's um, tall, and um, it will give me some more uh, dry food storage in the love den, being that we abandoned the first floor. <laughs> We're in the basement. What I got to line the carts and the it's not wide which i like it's a narrow so it'll fit perfectly where i want it to go but i bought these placemats that i can cut in half and each um by cutting it in half it will cover um the cart and this is just so cans and smaller items like my spices don't fall through the wire grooves that is so annoying to me I couldn't find any of the refrigerator organizers Dollar Tree normally has. I can't find anything for the fridge. Um, maybe it'll be back soon. So I just got two of these and I'm going to cut it directly in half and it should cover the shelf. So just two. I've got gray and white to match the love den. <clears throat> I don't want to say the Dollar Trees are drying up, but I mean, I'm still finding new finds, but... <clears throat> I don't know. I can't say that. When I say drying up, I mean, my main thing, the, one of the first aisles I go down is cosmetics, home decor. Like, those are my primaries. You know what I mean? Food, dishes, mugs, all that is, if I find something cute, if I find something, you know, that's um, bonus for me. But my main is uh, the beauty the health and beauty section, you know, hair products, um, soaps, body washes, uh, cosmetics, um, home decor. That's my main fave finds at Dollar Tree. And of course, I like the toy aisle too for my chunk of monk. So, if you've been following me for a while, you know, last year I made him using Dollar Tree uh, storage bins. They have haven't seen these in a while but they had them in like red yellow blue green like bright you know kid colors and I bought that stacked them together and filled them with Dollar Tree toys and then wrapped that entire thing for chunk and a couple of things I bought duplicate so when he comes to my house he has things to play with he's very destructive when it comes to toys I have no problem going to Walmart, Target, buying him, you know, Fisher Price, Tonka, any of that stuff. Um, but he is very destructive, and it's just, it's just upsetting. Not so much that he is so destructive, but also if the parents take him somewhere, you know, they don't help keep up with the stuff either. Okay, he's a little boy; you have to teach him. But that's another conversation. So, he is very well, very easily entertained anyway. Um, when he was living with, when they were living with me, I remember one Christmas I went and bought him all Fisher-Price interactive toys and he was scared to death of them. Um, I bought him this Fisher-Price chair that had a book that would read to him. Um, all different kind of things, a ride-on toy, all name brand stuff. He was scared to death of it and didn't touch it for maybe six seven months um anyway um if I went out and bought him like he wants to play with my remote control I go buy him the Fisher Price remote control he, he, he wasn't interested in that he's very simple to please I guess I can say so the name brand stuff so much unless it's one of his favorite characters I don't know who that is now last year it was BJ mask I don't think it is anymore but anyway I said all I have to say this I have been collecting since the summer Dollar Tree toys and some are name brand some are very very cute I really have to go through my inventory because I've just been throwing these things in a bin and see what I have 
Um, so I know, should I stop? Did I get too much or whatever? Because I started this collecting over the summer. Um, but I thought this was really cute. It's this container of eight dinosaurs. And it's really, really cute. And it's different dinosaurs. So I got him this. And he really, really enjoyed the Dollar Tree Legos. But it's too many pieces. Maybe all over the place. So I did get him that. This is a wish list find. And I forgot who I seen. With the other one. I, I forgot who I seen hold these. And I don't know if she hauled them. She showed them on a walkthrough. And everything on camera looks so big. I was really, really surprised to see how small these are. These look so big on uh, the YouTube video. I got him this one. It's only three of them. So I got him this one. It's a car with different dinosaur heads. I got him this one. I think they're cute. And then I got him this one. Okay, so I got that for him. And he's not necessarily into dinosaurs. Um... But these are things that I think are, are cute and I could see him playing with. Um, and I'm getting a lot, especially that container of eight, I'm getting a lot. So if he loses one or two, I'm getting a, my bang for my buck. Um, Wishless find were these razors from Assured. Um, I seen somebody show them on an in-store. I'm not sure if she hauled them or if she just showed them. Um, I do like the men's six blade. I don't think or remember if I tried the women's six blade because they weren't always out. I know I definitely tried the women's five blade and I didn't like them. So I'm going to give these a try. If not, I'm going to just go back to my men's six blade razors, okay? Let's just get food out the way. I found these Chips Ahoy Reese's cookies. Now, I usually get the chewies, chewy ones. These are not the chewy ones, but that's fine. Eat them with some milk. Who freaking cares? But I have never seen the full packages. I have seen people um haul the red velvet ones. I've seen people haul another variety one. I have never found them. Um, I could not find the expiration date for the life of me. I couldn't find it anywhere on the pack. Oh, here it is. Girl, this is good to 2021. Okay, had I known that they had one more pack, I would have probably purchased it. Um, but oh, what I didn't like about that pack is, you know, they have this lift up thing. It just looked like it was tampered with. So that's why I didn't get that one also. But yeah, if you find these and you're like, where's the expiration date? It's like hidden in the cut. When the package is like that, it's kind of hard to see. Or maybe it's just hard for my blind ass. I don't know. So I got two of those. I found these chips. They're from Good Natured. Crispy potato veggie snacks. Spinach, carrots, and tomatoes. Includes, um... Oh, includes nutrients extracted from several. It's really made with potatoes. So I don't know if that's all that healthy, but I do like veggie chips, so I did get these. I don't know why I'm so tired, yo. Last night, I was up to 4 o'clock in the morning. Because maybe I drank a cup of this stuff. Um, but it was early in the night when I drank this coffee. I like this coffee. I picked up another box, y'all. I'm afraid if it goes away. I, I looked it up on Amazon. And they have, for $30, you get 80K cups. But it's a whole bunch of different varieties. But I don't want to pay $30. Even though you get 80K cups, I don't want to pay $30. But I really, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so embarrassed. I don't like yawning. When I'm talking. Um, I had to get another box, okay? Like I said, I am a, I don't know, part-time coffee drinker. I, I'm just not an everyday coffee drinker, but I like that. I might make a cup later. Um, but <laughs> anyway, I did pick up these napkins only because we use the paper towels for napkins. And you just go through the paper towels faster. Dollar Tree does have a larger container of napkins, but I just find that they're so thin and frail. You know, you end up using more anyway, so I, I don't I don't like them too much. I'm just going to be honest, I don't. Um, I did pick up this game now. If you guys have been rocking with me, you know I mix my own laundry detergent using Dollar Tree um, laundry detergent, the powdered laundry detergent, along with that extra color-safe bleach. 
um, that they had. Thank God I still have some boxes left. Um, then I add some Purex crystals to it. Um, and then I might add some Oxy cleaner to it. Last time I didn't. Anyway, I'm just going to, in each load or heavily soiled load, this smells so good, add just one cap full of this uh, Gains Boost. You know what I mean? Um, I want to give this a try, okay? Even though my machine says powdered laundry detergent only, I'm just going to break the rules a little bit. Um, repurchase cups, boring, but I'm on the hunt for the 20 count. I love the bonus pack, and I, I haven't seen it in so long. This is great. It's good to see this again, the Cran Tropical. This is great with a cocktail, whether you want to... Depends how down and dirty you want to get. Do you want to add some Hennessy, or do you want to go light and add some rum? I mean, it really depends on where you want to take things um so i'm just happy to find that and they have the projectors now once i found them i know i'm gonna see them everywhere now except i went to three dollar trees today I, after i um bought the cart that was in east metal there's a dollar tree which they call according to google maps belmore i walked in walked around and walked out they had nothing then i went to east metal and I ended up getting a pedicure um, at that nail spot right there. Um, very, very nice place. Um, and I used my flower nail polish because I wanted nail polish to match my new nails that I did last night. That's one thing I got accomplished being up all night. Um, but they have the projectors. And um, in my last video, I reviewed it. I have to tell you, this is the cutest, okay? And the further you have the projector away from the wall, the larger um, the image becomes, but you'll see less detail, okay? The closer you have it to the wall, the more details that you'll see. But anyway, this is my favorite. The other one with Santa riding in the sky is okay. I did put batteries in that, and it's nothing to write home about. In my opinion, the image is not as clear and detailed as the house. So if you're looking for these you see these you want to get both by all means get both but if you just you know want to pick one and you you don't want both go with the red this is the cutest and um i'm actually putting this up i'm so excited and even mr fuller he likes it he told me oh get more get a few more i guess put up just in case they don't break you know that's him uh, doubting dollar tree products thinking that dollar tree products are just like you know so fragile you know and cheap you know and some things are but a lot of things aren't okay don't talk about my store me and him get into all the time and the last thing that i have to share with you they have those beautiful new uh, shadow boxes and this time they put wall hooks on the back of them and i got this for mr fuller's side of the wall it says you're out of this world okay this goes on his um wall on his side of the room that we share and but the I'm gonna make some changes to it I don't like the white so I'm going to paint it black even might paint it um, green I don't know but I'm gonna paint this and that's what I love about Dollar Tree wall art and home decor if you don't like the color I think outside of the box you can change it nine times out of ten 99% of the time you can change it. I have painted these shadow boxes many times, okay? So I think I'm just going to go to black because unlike my side of the wall that's pink and I have gold and I have white, he has black framed art. So I think I'm going to go with black and I have to paint from Dollar Tree so it's not going to cost me a dime. It's just going to cost me time and that's fine. I could do it while I'm watching TV or whatever. So that's my Dollar Tree haul. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing the new Bolero products. I'm not seeing, um, there's a few things I'm not seeing. And, um, it's really no reason for me to go crazy. You know what I mean? Oh, God, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to go home and cook now. That dinner last night was off the chain. Thank you, Uncle Giuseppe. You guys did the hard work. It tastes homemade. All I did was add pasta sauce. A mix of cheeses, 
you know, a whole bunch of different Italian cheeses I added to it. It was so freaking good. And because the pasta is fresh, right? You don't cook it that long. The manicotti cooked for, I, they said 15, 20 minutes. I left it in for a half an hour. And the chicken palm, the, the, the chicken's already breaded and fried. So you don't want to dry out chicken and cook it so much. So that was like 10 minutes. Just enough to, to melt the cheese and heat up the sauce. That was an easy dinner. And I had some leftover Texas toast in the uh, freezer. So I had my garlic bread. The only thing that was missing was a salad. But I just was lazy with it. But it was good. Oh, my God. And that, I didn't even cook all of it. I bought two packages. You get six manicotti in each package. I didn't even cook all of it. It's so freaking filling. So tonight, I'm making salmon for him. Asparagus. I'm going to use that nor cheddar broccoli. It's not rice. I think it's like a pasta, I think. Or it's a rice pasta mixture. I don't know. Um, I got some stuffed mushrooms with the spinach artichoke. Okay. All you have to do is put them in the oven. I found those at Aldi's. I'm going to drizzle them with some olive oil. Put them in the oven. I'm getting so excited. What else am I going to have? Oh, and I'm going to make a steak for me because I don't eat fish. And that's my dinner for tonight. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go home. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. I know I said I don't drink coffee like that, but I need some energy. And then make dinner and then chill out and relax. Okay? It's one of those days, y'all, where it's nice to just chill out and relax. But anyway, thanks for watching this haul. Welcome to the new cyber family members. Hello to my existing cyber family. I so appreciate you guys. Let me know in the comments how you guys doing. How's your hunting going? Did you give up? Uh, you know, are you finding things? Do you hate Dollar Tree? Do you love it? I mean, it's, I go through my periods, guys, too. When Dollar Tree's dry, I'd be so pissed. And another thing, I missed out on that, that recognition day, the 10%. And you guys, if you don't know, I go to Dollar Tree almost every day. Almost every day. Even if I only just go to one, I'm at Dollar Tree every day. And they didn't give me no coupon. I didn't see no sign about nothing. And Sunday was the food festival day. So did I go to Dollar Tree at all Sunday? I really can't remember. Maybe Sunday I didn't go. But normally I'm at Dollar Tree every day. And that's no excuse because I was there several times last week. And nobody told me nothing about no appreciation day, 10% off. That's when I get pissed with Dollar Tree. That's when I get pissed with Dollar Tree, okay? But anyway, enough. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.